Again. So, of course, we did methane already. You know, it's a natural gas. You know, it has many other qualities, but not all the qualities. You know that it has four hydrogens, one carbon. But you don't know that it's actually, it has a bond angle, which is the, um, the bonding is the attraction. The bond angle is 109.5. Okay. And, but yes, you know all this. It's time to move on. We will cover the alkanes, which, which methane is one of them. It's the simplest alkane. And so we um, take this hydrogen off. It's going to be bonded to it, yet another carbon. And to make that carbon stable, we need three more hydrogens. And the bonds are these black flat surfaces. But what might you think? What do you think this is? It's ethane. C, not CH4, which is a carbon for hydrogens. Not CH4 but C2H6. Okay. Yeah. Ethane is has two carbons. That's one, two. Okay. All right, but we're not, not done yet. Yet another carbon can be added. We have two hydrogens on this one, and then we have the carbon. What is this? Ooh, this is flammable. It can produce fire. Okay, this is propane. Propane. And propane is, we used to live in a house and we had a propane tank. And we also had a propane grill. Propane is very useful. But then we have to take this one off. Not done yet. Yet another carbon is added. This is for butte. That's one, two, three, four carbons. And therefore, there are three more hydrogens. Now, what is this? Butane, also flammable, but more. And this bone stick version of methane here is gonna be more advanced too. But yet another one has to be removed. Or oh, on the bottom. And yet another carbon is there. So this is one, two, three, four, five carbons. One. Three more hydrogens. And that's as much as I can build. But this is pentane five pent and it goes on to uh, however you'd like if I had more if I had an unlimited supply of them I could build some things like hectane not heptane but hectane 100 C100 H202 you know it's just carbons and hydrogens but well, what happens if you take this to a different degree? Alkanes, still alkanes, just not chains like this. If you took all of this away, the hydrogens first have to go away. But something is awaiting.
You have to take all the hydrogens away. Give it a different configuration. What am I making now? What could this be, you might ask? But it actually is not that hard once you know it. It's called cyclo, meaning it's, it's round. Cyclo, hexane. Hexane is the next one up from pentane. Cyclopentane is less strong, but probably. But also, we don't have enough to make cycloheptane, cyclooctane, you, you name it. Cyclodecane has a different shape. But, turns out we're missing one. All right, where could we? Cyclohexane. But what else is there? Many other things. Like, what do you think? This is. I'm gonna make it soon. But what do you think this is? There's an entire different family of hydrocarbons. There are alkenes, not alkanes, alkenes. Do you know what they are? They have the double bonds, double and triple bonds. And alkynes have the triple bonds. These are the double and triple bonds. But you replace these, and these two come with the double bonds. But first, I think we should do the alkanes. The alkenes, not the cycloalkanes. So you have ethene, there's no such thing as methene. You have ethene, also known as ethylene. But ethene, also known as ethylene, is has a double bond. So you bond it to another carbon. I showed you ethane. Ethene. I'm gonna call it ethylene. It's another name. But ethylene. Because of the double bond, the carbons don't have uh, have as much to share. So it's instead of C two H six, it's C two H four. But we can go even further. Just as I said, we're not done with the alkanes or the alkenes. Or, or the, uh, we're not done with the alkanes. You can also do this. You ready for this exciting one? At least for you. We're not even done. But this one. Looks like it's standing on two feet because of this. The double bond at the top makes this not butane, butene. Oops. Oh yeah, the magnetic mess. But let's see. Like that. And two more hydrogens makes it butene. Okay. Wow. But, um, you also have not alkenes, but dienes. What could that mean? That means it has two double bonds on the entire chain. So you have, you have one, Three butadiene. This is what it looks like. We need to grab two more. One 
And then the cars are here. And you also have the tri -ins. But we'll get into that another day. So you have here, like this. And what's next? Hmm, none on this one. Alright, I guess the carbon here? Yeah, that's right. And then, oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah. So it's like that, and then you have two more. Wait, something's out of order. This carbon doesn't go here. One three butadiene is even more strange. One three butadiene in here. I don't know what this is used for, but it is impressive, don't you think? But you cannot even imagine what we're about to get into. Can you imagine a molecule that looks like a dog? It's time to add in some oxygens. Alcohols. So you have an OH group known as a hydroxy group here. And you know this is good old water. It's a nice refreshing drink. But you have it bonded to a carbon. This is ethanol. Be careful with ethanol. And so you have the carbon here, yeah? And one. And two, and three, and two feet here. What looks like two feet, two hydrogens here. Does this look like a dog? This is ethanol. And we can do propanol if we want it, but I think it's good to stick to the oxygen. What is another cleaner? That's not a cleaner. I don't know. But this one I'm about to do is a cleaner. What is this? Have you heard of hydrogen peroxide? If not, this is what it is. It's di diol. <laughs> diol, but this is just two hydroxy groups bonded together. And it is used in If you don't have it, it's not the best one, but you can use it if you got hurt and you need some like antiseptic. You can use this hydrogen peroxide here. And it's nice this, but what am I about to do? I told you the blue are nitrogens. Hmm. And they have three bonds in this case, in this case. Three bonds. You have lots of double bonds and you have triple bond. But for now, we're just gonna stick with this. Ethanamine. It may look like a dog with two heads, but it's ethanamy, which is ethane with a amine group here, which is NH2, nitrogen and two hydrogens. You like this so far, but I'm doing one of the cyclo out cyclo trienes that would be something called benzene if you cannot figure out what i'm talking about see this
three double bonds on a Wait, one, two, three. Yeah. Mm, 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 mm. You don't know you want to keep going. Keep going. So this is um beginnings of this amazing molecule here. The next we have this down here. May, it may seem challenging to you. It's not. It's science. Aha! What do you think is missing? I probably just said nothing. But it's missing hydrogens. Hydrogens is what makes it stable. There's many things that could make this stable. But check this out. Yes. Do you think it's amazing? Yes, it is. But you can't even imagine what we're about to get to. Okay. Try nitro. Oh, man. You've heard of TNT. I have two nitrogens. DNT. Yikes. That's some delay. But you do have trinitrotoluene, but you can have dinitrotoluene. 1,4 dinitrotoluene. We're getting there. I gonna do this N O H two H yeah some things are hard but you can do something like this it's nice let's see what else can we do carbon structure but now we're headed for the oxygen structures. The oxygen, nitrogen, HNO is the formula, which is hydrogen, nitrogen, oxygen. What is that? You might think it's HNO like this, not stable. We need a double bond. Aha, uh -huh, we just grab one there. And that's not gonna be on the oxygen. Where is it gonna be? on the nitrogen. Well, well, well. It's called nitroxyl. Do you wanna check out big leagues? Not big leagues, why am I saying that? But would you like to check out big stuff? Something like, we're going back to the alkanes, except they have what are called functional groups on them. It's good, 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 good. So 
what do I have here? Oxygen. Double bonded oxygen, let's stand it up. Then O, H. Stone being made, it's gonna turn out to be something excellent. You'll like it. Some trouble making it, but it'll be okay. Yes, we're just expanding it. Can you help me? Or yeah, it's the it's that carboxylic acid. Okay, which one? We just this is ethanoic acid, which is a carboxylic acid, and then you have another carbon with it that's propanoic acid without its hydrogens, only two of it, and then you have butanoic. Good.